Hey, we're going to talk about another sign today. Um, but boy, I am really thirsty. It's been a long day. Oh, some good old Stalinade. Uh, this sign is uh, by George Orwell. This quote, There is no crime, absolutely none, that cannot be condoned when our side commits it. And I think as students of history, we really have to keep this in mind. Because people throughout history have done some awful things to each other. They do it sometimes in the name of religion. They do it sometimes for their country. Uh, a lot of crimes, if you will, are committed. And a lot of them are excused, either by the people of the same religion or the people of the same country, because our side did it. Orwell, author of 1984, really understood politics and he understood history. And this quote really helps um, sum it up. I put this up uh, at a time when Barack Obama was president and he visited the Turkish parliament. Uh, if you know something about Turkey's history, if you don't, you will. Uh, but after World War I, they committed a terrible genocide against the Armenian people. And um, they deny it. In fact, it is a crime in Turkey to even talk about uh, the Armenian genocide. You could actually be jailed for, for saying that Turkey wiped out a million and a half or more Armenians. Barack Obama was invited to speak to the Turkish parliament, and he stood there in the Turkish parliament, and he said, you know, he said, in the United States, we've had a lot of trouble owning our crimes. He said, we're starting to understand, and we're starting to deal with slavery and the legacy of slavery. Uh, and he said, we have come to grips and are trying to come to grips with the genocide of the Native Americans. And now it's time for you, Turkey, to come to grips with what happened with the Armenians. And as I watched that speech, I was like, oh, are they going to arrest our president? Uh, but it, it was a, a brave moment in American history, not just to call out the Turks, but also to admit to the entire world that the United States has committed some crimes too. And for many, many years, we have excused them because we did them. And now, of course, years later, as we deal with the things happening in our world, in our country, with Black Lives Matter and other things, we are starting to understand that our history does have some chinks in it, some things that, that we shouldn't really be proud of. And, and uh, as we work through this history course this year, remember it's, an, it's a world history class, not an American history class. And we're going to look at things from a lot of different perspectives. And sometimes you're going to hear things about your religion or your nationality or ethnicity. And it might make you a little uncomfortable. Well, think about Orwell and see if you aren't guilty of excusing some crimes just because your side committed them.